nothing more exciting than finding a scorpion oil lamp out in the woods. This one's over a thousand years old. Like the last Mohican, things like this can be wonderful. This hand and foot pine sap oil lamp uh, melts its own pine sap and it pours off the hand onto the foot and into the bowl like a waterfall. Yeah, this one's really special. Handmade fish hooks. Like this one. Can prepare you for a storm. This spear is intended to fish for flounder and uh, other aquatic animals like that. Handmade fishing lines are a lot better than carrying them with you because you just don't need to carry them. And if you know how to make them, then you're more better prepared. This rope rake is a, a piece of wood that came off of a tree naturally naturally formed rake that came off of a tree. This rope maker's tool set has over a dozen different tools uh, that you use for making rope like fids and things like that. And learning how to make each and every one of them, you're much better prepared to uh, survive in the wilderness. These glass tools are also rope making tools. This is how to start making a, a three point spear. The bone is just tied onto the side of a, the fore shaft. And as you can see, when it's done, you have a, a three point spear where the, the head separates from the shaft. And it makes a perfect hunting weapon. Wise old buzzard. These flint napping tools are well over 5,000 years old. As you can see, the, the hippo and the, the hand holder is used for making Clovis points, sheaf arrow points, and of course the, the common paleo period arrowheads. Without those tools, you wouldn't be able to make those. This axe head is made out of a pumice stone. And my crow's beak knife, I made that out of a piece of flint. And that, that makes one of the, the best knives. There's a stone axe head. Yeah, those are nice. That's a buffalo bullseye. Uh, piece of, it's a piece of glass, 14th century glass that was chipped into a buffalo profile. This buzzard and bear is a weapon of war that the Native Americans used. It was made by uh, burning the wood and then carving away the charcoal with a squirrel skull. As you can see the striations in the, in the hand there, the bear's, bear's paw, you can see the, the tooth marks from the squirrel skull where the charcoal was scraped away. There's a giant thorn off of a tree. I use those for making spears and fish hooks and other weapons. This is a stone working tool.
This is a scorpion conch. Yeah, you can make good weapons with that. They come in all different sizes. This happens to be a small one. This is an alligator foot dead ball trap uh, intended for catching lizards. You can see the pieces of the wood, the, the buzzard, the snake, and the lizard. This cougar's head is ancient money. Used to buy the things I've just shown you. This tool was used for uh, uh, chopping up animals or breaking the bones. The bone bone tool. Ancient warriors had the skills they needed. They didn't have to go to a store and buy the things they wanted. Anything they needed, they made, and they had the skills and the knowledge to do that. 